Across the history of the Philippines, there were countless couples that fought through hardships to earn the right to love. This is a list where those couples took a tragic turn and ended in despair. These are the top 5 tragic love stories in the Philippines. Now let's start with the video. Their love started early on as the two were known to be childhood sweethearts. The young Manuel was sent to study in Hong Kong, he then later studied law in the University of the Philippines. While Jovita furthered her studies in Manila, the lovers crossed paths once again and resumed their prior relationship. Manuel would frequently visit Jovita to watch her play the piano and court her. Sadly, the relationship only lasted three years as Jovita declined a proposal from Manuel. The reason being, Manuel did not disclose his plans of marrying Jovita to his parents in fear of rejection. They were both heartbroken and parted ways. Manuel Roas would then marry Miss Philippines, Trinidad de Leon, while Jovita would further her career in opera singing and found success internationally. She later won the first national artist for music in 1976 but she never married. They both met back in 1931 in Manila. As their families were close, the late president would frequently take the young Luz in his car, driving her to school along with her sister. The young Ramon was a persistent suitor and his persistence finally paid off as the young lass eventually fell in love with him. After two and a half years of courting, the young Luz finally gave her heart to the young Ramon. He was a kind husband giving his all to please his wife and kids. But Sadly, the head of the house and the late president met his end due to a plane crash in 1947. Luz was distraught as she learned of her husband's tragic demise, an abrupt end to a happy relationship. The couple first met sometime in 1892. Immediately they became entranced with one another. The parents of Oryang rejected the young Andres, thinking he would not be a suitable husband as they thought he could not provide Oryang with a good future. It got to a point where they imprisoned Oryang so the two could not meet any further. Upon being imprisoned, Oryang hastily wrote a note informing the governor of her imprisonment and that she wanted to be married to Andres Bonifacio. In the end the parents gave in and agreed to the marriage proposal of Andres Bonifacio. They were both married on March of 1893. Unfortunately, their son Andres named after his father died of smallpox and, later on Andres and his brother were taken by Aguinaldo's men to be killed. Juan Luna was a famous artist, highly regarded for painting the famed Spoliarium, that garnered a lot of recognition from artists and historians. His talents earned him the admiration of Paz Pardo de Tavera. The two met and later fell in love and got married on December 8, 1886. They had two children but sadly the female died at a very young age. Juan Luna was a very possessive husband, ordering his spouse not to meet with other men. Paz later met a man named Monsieur Dusik which she later became friends with. Juan Luna became enraged at this, so he would beat his wife for allegedly having an affair with Dusik. The incident took a turn for the worse as the patriarch shot and killed Paz and his mother-in-law in cold blood. He was then later acquitted of the crimes as it was considered as a crime of passion. Rizal and Leonor Rivera had a blooming relationship back in their early days. She was known to be the inspiration for Maria Clara in Noli Mi Tangi Ri. They were very close in their early years, both attending La Concordia College while Rizal was studying as a medical student. 
Their relationship blossomed later on as the two frequently wrote letters to each other. As Rizal went to Europe they continued to keep in touch. As the reputation of Rizal worsened and anyone known to be in relation with him was to be tortured and killed. The mother of Leonor intercepted the letters from Rizal and burned them. Their relationship became more distant. Fearful for her daughter, she convinced Leonor to marry an Englishman and upon hearing the news, Rizal cried a lot. Leonor died giving birth to her second child and her dying wish was to be buried with the ashes of Rizal's burned letters. Later on, Rizal was executed by the Spaniards becoming a symbol of a revolution. Well, that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love researching about history topics for my videos and I hope you guys appreciate the effort I put into these videos. And as always, I thank you everyone for watching, and Kularama out.